Hello Soul Pearls, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a new bigger card, a new topic. What your inner child wants to say to you, pick a card. So what I'll do is I'll try and describe your childhood a little bit. And if that resonates with you, then this is the right pile for you. You have four images to choose from tune into your intuition see which one calls you the most and if that image is like yes this i want this one then choose that one please do bear in mind that these are general readings and if you like something more personalized i do have private readings up on my coffee shop the link is down below you will find it there all right, so I hope you chose your image, your group, and I will see you there. Hello, group one. Welcome to your reading. What I'll do is I'll channel from the image and see if I need any cards. Okay, I'll describe your childhood as best as I can. And if that resonates, then this is the group for you. Okay. So just from the image, I heard dreamer and boy, you weren't afraid to get involved with the boys if you were a woman. Okay, let's talk about <laughs> the, if you are a woman, okay, when you were a girl. It's interesting because I almost stumbled up. Maybe you were a girl and now you're <laughs> something else. You know, I don't, I don't judge. I don't care. But this is the energy here. Someone with short hair. When they were a child, they prefer to have their hair shorter or their parents simply cut their hair short. Either that you could have had um, one of those sprays that were for kids and you colored your hair. When you were a kid and you're like, look at me, I'm cool. <laughs> you know, that's so cute. Maybe as a kid... You did try on your mom's makeup <laughs> or you kind of played around with your parents' stuff. Does that make sense? Okay, now in terms of that male, it's kind of like male dominant. So I presume for the girls... You liked ha hanging out with the boys, playing with the cars. You know, you weren't afraid to play Spider-Man or something. I'm just feeling those type of uh, role plays as a child when you would go outside and you'd play Spider-Man and characters and stuff like that. And you weren't afraid to be the villain or something like that. But I'm hearing for someone, I didn't always want to be the villain, but they kind of made me... <laughs> do it which is sad because what i'm feeling is that they always made you play the bad guy or something and you just wanted to be the fairy or you know just wanted to be something else not otherwise they wouldn't have played with you or there's this fear as a child where people would project you and they wouldn't exactly want to play with you if you were, you were too girly or something. Okay, that's what I'm picking up on. The other thing is something to do with being a theater kid or just liking plays in general, being good at plays in kindergarten, being the artist kid, you know, drawing, painting, and you were really good at it. And even now, I don't know if you keep in contact with teachers or stuff like that, but it doesn't seem like it. Because in a way, you were also somebody that was very detached from societal norms and you didn't really care about their rules. You were a rebel. Yeah, rebel. <laughs> and it kind of reminds me of me. <laughs> I feel like... There's a balance here of, yeah, I'll wear, I'll wear dresses, but also I'll wear t-shirts and shorts and I'll run around like an antelope. 
from from a jaguar i don't know you know what i mean it's like maybe you were a really fast runner and you got into sports later on and you were really talented at sports but also art i just see that in your eyes and also you had natural you have you still have it don't worry you have <laughs> natural beauty and it showed on your face this innocence even now you have this youth to you but i'm just seeing a really colorful person but it seemed like you were made of porcelain and like eyes but the fact is you're somebody that shines so brightly and it's really sweet so as a child you know you you loved maybe working with flowers so i am picking up on a certain thing so for me as a kid like i'm giving you an example uh we used to pick up flowers leaves and stuff like that and then put them between books between the pages and then they would dry out and we used them as um props for art so like we would make art with it maybe you still do that maybe you still have that thing that you do and there's something about loving flowers maybe some of you became gardeners or just love having gardens and also some of you lived in the countryside with your grandparents so you experienced all the spectrum of just natural food from the countryside also the city it's kind of like a combination of things it could be that so you had this exposure to a lot of things which gave you a lot of knowledge i'm feeling for you that there was a lot of protection from your mother and grandmother so like you're really connected to your mother and grandmother okay if you're a man and you don't resonate with that um what i said about the <laughs> the women the message here is that as a boy you were put in charge so like you had responsibilities you didn't mind doing them but you were responsible for a lot of things you could have grown up taking care of others or having to take care of yourselves i'm hearing there's some people that were in orphanages is that is that right so people that actually oh man i'm so sorry that we're abandoned <laughs> i'm laughing because it's traumatic <laughs> don't worry and it's like this innocent kid who just lived by itself i'm not oh my gosh i'm not trying to trigger you or anything um but you still have hope so i'm not sure some of you were really protected but some of you weren't you just had to take care of yourself and that built character and strength in your personality so now you're somebody that's very protective and takes care of children takes care of others and you kind of i don't know why you kind of attract those type of people that also take care of you is that right does that resonate <laughs> all right anything else spirits so they know that this is their pile something about bay leaves tea leaves mint leaves i don't know if someone's from india but it's like a childhood full of playing outside in the dirt and stuff like even in europe we used to do that like we used to run with our feet like bare, bare feet on the cement like the pavement whatever in the grass and we used to connect with the earth right we used to be like <laughs> this <laughs> these literal travelers like this these little gypsy travelers that <laughs> were running around and enjoying life like that's what i'm feeling you had a childhood that you still could enjoy right that's what i'm feeling from this group i don't know why i'm hearing you build stuff from a younger age you could build stuff like you you took some a piece of wood and then another piece of wood and you would use nails and stuff and 
you build stuff like i don't know just this type of kid that already had knowledge it kind of reminds me of past life regression and how you know how p some people remember oh i was this this and this and then they say as a kid i used to do this and i didn't know why i was so good at it like yeah <laughs> you know just like a skills coming from somewhere but you're not sure where but maybe you're just good at doing a lot of things all right let me see I'm also seeing someone from Mexico, Mexico, hola, como estas? <laughs> or someone from Spain and just having this culture, experience this culture. Maybe two cultures going one place and then to another, like maybe parents from two cultures or ancestors from two cultures, grandparents that were like coming from another line and the other one from another line right okay okay that took longer than i thought i'm not sure if there's anything else but i keep seeing this aura of minty and purple so a healing aura as a kid you could have had knowledge that would heal people i'm not sure kind of gives me the vibes of When you were a kid, you knew how to do things naturally. And then when you grew up, some of you lost it, but some of you still kept that. So I'm not sure. It's interesting. Also, you could have built, uh, not built, you could have made crowns, crowns from flowers. You know, bracelets and crowns from flowers. And you were just surrounded by nature. And by animals, maybe you had doggies around you or chickens or stuff like that, you know? You know what I mean? Okay, let's just get the cards and see what your inner child has to say to you. If that resonated with you, which took longer than I thought, then, um, okay, thank, let's get your cards, okay? Thank you for <laughs> being patient. So I'm feeling that as a child, you, you had this spirituality this connection to god to spirit to source and there was something you were following when you were a kid you know you you were following your culture or your beliefs your religion with the hierophant right there but i just feel like you're meant to be a leader so what your inner child says is to keep following that bliss it's to follow your path and even though you've been through hardships with the three of wands you've climbed the ladder so you took those hardships and you still did them anyway right you have been hopeful and your inner child wants you to keep following your north star to make your own decisions based on what you feel is right for you and there's something that your inner child wants you to let go of there was a fear of not being enough not being able to have friends because you're different you know your inner child wants you to let go of that it wants you to let go of the fear and the doubt and wants you to accept the blessings the blessings that come through other people the the blessings that you're about to receive it truly your your inner child truly wants you to tap into the happiness that literally that inner child energy when you were a kid what did you used to do that made you happy maybe you started doing once again what you did as a child and it reminds me it remo <laughs> jesus it reminds you of that magic but in this pile, there's, there's truly a lot of protection from a feminine. Maybe someone that passed away, maybe your grandma. But with the warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling and align your life? What is not aligned or needs to change? So there are changes coming up ahead. And what your inner child will like you to do is to embody this warrior within you by the way i have a 
breathing on what your inner warrior wants you to do for yourself so that might be a useful reading it wants you to step up and answer the call the 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 spiritual call that you've always had and to let go of any limiting beliefs okay what is that that's okay and your inner child will like you to see what is not aligned and what needs to change because it feels like you're in a position where you already know what you want to do. You already know, hey, I need to go away from this job. I need to quit and I need to go here. I want peace and rest. I need to do that. So it's telling you to follow your intuition, right? And to take this leap of faith. You go first, the universe will catch you. So your inner child is telling you that you've done something you've encouraged yourself to do it and then you did it and because of that now you will have this floating around like you'll be able to fly around of how happy you are because this outcome to something you've taken action for example you participated in a competition guess what you already won it wants you to believe in that magic of already done, already won, that to embody that imagination that you used to have as a child and to bring that out and use that. But I'm feeling that many of you are doing that. But your inner child is so cute, is so positive. It's like, what trauma? Oh, let it go, <laughs> you know? And go with the flow, right? Go with the flow, <laughs> yes. You're in that type of energy where you're going with the flow and now you're seeing how well that serves you. So you're seeing what serves you and you're embracing that, that interconnectedness. Maybe some people called you childish or like too boyish, too blah, 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 or too feminine if you're a man, um, you know, and they're like, let go of that. It doesn't matter what they said. And some of you are like, yeah, I let go of that. Like <laughs> immature kids, maybe they were always at your throat for how happy and free spirited you were. But you just went with the flow, man. Like you did it. Right? You just have this freedom in you right now that I keep following. You know, you're meant to be followed for some reason. Then you got exchanging gifts. You're meant to allow, to give yourself permission, and to give yourself the slip. <laughs> to spread your wings and to dress as you'd like. I don't know what what's a, with the... Maybe if you're a woman and you dressed, uh, you know, comfortable with teachers and shorts and stuff maybe right now you're just liking to embody more dresses more skirts more pink more colors do it that's what your inner child wants you to do to do what you makes what makes you feel good you know and also your inner child will like you to take a nap <laughs> there's something about hey i didn't take enough naps as a kid now i need them but it's something like you're not allowing yourself to take naps for some of you and then for some of you like yeah I take naps 24-7. <laughs> if I could, I would sleep a week. Right? And then something with friendship. There were some jealous friends in your group and they pretended to be like your friend. Like in, you know, how evil these little shits were <laughs> as a kid. They were like, oh, blah, blah, blah. They were your friend. But behind your back, they were like stinging you. You know what I mean? And then you saw them for who they were. And I am hearing because of you, other people saw who they were too. And then it's like everybody turned against them. <laughs> but in the end, it's kind of like you're, you're so mature now that you made up with them. But it's like... Yeah, we may have history, but we're not going to connect again. Okay, so it's telling you to follow your dreams again about sleep and <laughs> needing sleep. 
okay but keeping your dreams to yourself and your inner child says yes it's nice to share but i, I like it to keep it to myself so that it actually works out something like that i don't know believe in your dreams nurture your relationships it wants you to nurture especially the relationship with yourself okay again they keep repeating nap 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 gratitude be grateful for all you have so right now you're in a position where you see that you have everything you ever wanted and a lot of things just like if you're into manifestation everything manifests and it's like wow this crazy surge of energy like ooh, nice and then sunflower may be a sign for you oh with the beach and stuff maybe as a child you know like 30 years ago 25 years ago children would be led naked because on the beach to play around in their little bare bottom <laughs> you know so maybe as a kid you love playing in the sand and near the ocean and building sand castles and stuff like that like playing uh doing these what are they called like sand molds uh, like in the shape of a crab or in the shape of a star and you're like tick, 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 and then we you, you love doing those there's something about that right maybe you want to experience that again maybe you'll do that with your kids or you have kids and you're doing that with your kids you're teaching them showing them hey look would you like to see what i did in my childhood and then you kind of show maybe even your brothers and sisters if you have younger brothers and sisters you're like you you're finding a way to show them how to enjoy life and you show you're showing them cool things and they're like oh wow that's interesting that's that's actually cool i like that you know guiding them towards something better like a better future that's what i keep feeling so your inner child thanks you for helping other children experience what they should be experiencing and then you got potential think big for your future mm, your inner child wants you to to dream big Oh, it, your inner child is saying that dream that you had since you were a little wee kid, right? <laughs> a little chicken, chicken nugget. Um, that dream of a singer, that dream of playing the guitar, that dream of, I don't know, playing on a stage and entertaining people and stuff like that. Your inner child says, yes, that's possible. And it's happening for you. You're meant to be a star. Interesting, right? Mm, cool. Then you got children. Know that your children are protected. So because of everything you've experienced and everything you've done, you know that your children will be safe if you want children, obviously. <laughs> But you, your inner child, are protected. I'm not sure because I'm just feeling like you've done your inner child work. Like you've like let go of the trauma. And so that's why I'm not picking up on anything that's out of alignment or out of place. It's because you've already done the work. So that's why I'm seeing all these awesome things. Because that's truly how your inner child feels. It, it feels protected and taken care of. It just feels like it can shine, it can play now, because you've allowed yourself to do that. You can once again play with, I don't know, figurines. If you're a man and you have like figurines and you collect stuff like that, that's really cool. It's like, I'm so happy you're doing that. Like, I'm happy that you're, you're getting those figurines that we couldn't get as a kid. Like, we couldn't afford it or something. But now you can because you're an adult and you got money, <laughs> right? And um, they're, like, thanking you for truly buying <laughs> what makes you, like, you know, giddy and happy. <laughs> right. Maybe this type of flower like here and the tiger there's something but a tiger maybe a plushy a plushy tiger or some sort of plushy that you had oh one thing that i was speaking up even before doing the reading was that someone gave 
some of your toys away and they were like collectibles like they're one in a million they're not gonna come back and something like maybe you, some of you found them once again and you were able to buy them interesting i like i had some collectibles and my dad gave them away because he, he was like oh give it to children that don't have anything and i was like I could have given the other things away, but not these things. These things, I'll never have them again because they don't make them. Sorry, I'm better. <laughs> um, my inner child needs needs those back, but doesn't know how to get them. Maybe something like that. Your inner child wants something, but it doesn't know how to get it back. It's kind of like, is it for some of you, is it only hardship that we have to experience? But your inner child keeps looking at the North Star and dreaming and imagining. Use that imagination to tap into, I don't know, the knowledge of the universe. We, you know. <laughs> okay, if you enjoyed this reading, let me know in the comments. This is very different to what I've been doing. But I enjoy it. I enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it as well. Please like, comment, subscribe if you call to. All the information is down below. If you'd like a private reading, the link is down below in the description. All right, sweet cheeks. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye. Group number two, my little munchkins. How are you? Listen, they're such a beauty to you. Even as a child, there's just like something like a crystal. Okay, so I heard crystal children. I don't... This pile, they're... There are star seeds in this pile. So, who in this pile, there's some trauma coming up and uh, stuff I need to talk about. So, what I'll do is I'll channel from the image and then give you your cards because I just I, I shuffled them just before starting. And um, guess what? There's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot for you. Okay. I just want to say that as a child, so if you resonate with, um, with what I'm saying, then this is your pile, okay? As a child, you were silenced because my throat was just going nuts out here. And I'm not sure what type of clothes you had, but I'm just seeing those type of good quality clothes. And people were, I mean, other kids were jealous of it, even though you might have had little money or your family wasn't that well off but still provided for you but i'm just ooh, i don't like this like um your parents reproach things to you so like always telling you off that hey other kids uh, have more uh no other kids have less than you and blah 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 and like always gaslighting and manipulating and all that stuff because they didn't know better let's not let's not <laughs> Mm -hmm. you had to learn to come out of that as a child you had to learn how to freaking survive and kind of through that trauma and everything in process and i'm hearing you were the quiet kid and also i feel like there's a connection here two and four or two and three there's something a connection in there or all the piles could somehow have messages for you but this and four there's something within it Okay, butterflies. There's something about butterflies that you've always seen as magical. And also being surrounded by flowers. You work with flowers. I'm I'm seeing this type of starseed child, starseed kid. So if you don't resonate with starseeds, this might not be the pile for you. Where you used to hmm, play with flowers, water, and kind of like the elements with fire too. I don't know. I'm hearing making dough and then baking it like you you're a good baker for some reason you're a good cook and you've learned that since you were a child and from a grandparent figure and you always had clean clothes that's one thing you've always um cleaned yourself really well like you were a clean kid but people always thought you were poor for some reason or because of your clothes and the way you presented yourself, they thought you were rich. I don't know. There's just a lot of judgment and eyes on you, like jealousy. And even from adults who should have stood up for you and protected you, they didn't. 
and i'm not talking about your family i'm talking about some like your neighbors or you know some stuff like that and by the way your hair you could have had long hair yeah so maybe as a baby you had short hair and then as you grew into a toddler you had long hair and everybody praised your hair you could have had a light color hair well she, in this picture she has the purple hair but that just tells me this purple that she's royal she's royalty and she came here because or he came here because okay for men and women <laughs> You came here because you had a mission to do. <laughs> I'm seeing Pleiadia in your eyes, bro. Pleiadia, I just, yeah. Something about a crystal child, crystalline child. I don't know, just someone that feels like an alien, but people kind of like want to make fun of the child and be like, oh, you're an alien, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm like triggering and stuff but it's just such a beauty to you and maybe someone called you ugly as a kid but actually you were so pretty and you're still so pretty you have this angelic face and you still do like this youthful face Paiwan had this too with the youthful face and stuff um okay so there's something here that you did I don't know, were you writing stuff like, I heard Past Life Witch, so were you writing as a kid? You loved writing as a kid? I don't know, you did spells and stuff, and I'm kind of seeing someone finding your notebook, and then they're like, what are you doing? Like from a religious family, oh, this is what you write, and they ripped it off, up. I don't, I don't know if that happened to you, or maybe you kept um your notebook safe maybe you were playing with cards and you didn't know it was tarot maybe you were like you know playing around and trying to find the object hidden somewhere in something and you always found it like you had this crazy crazy intuition that was on point and you still have that okay anything else for group number two so they know this is their pile a heart of gold and blood of silver oh you, you mm, there's something that made you quiet maybe some of you didn't speak until you were a certain age and then some of you all of a sudden got quiet because of, of having to protect yourself of because of the trauma and then it surfaced in anger issues. Anger issues that were passed down to you by, I don't know, surrounding people. But what I'm feeling here is that you had to soothe and calm yourself down because other people didn't know how to do it. And you're just the prime example of how to be now. So you're once again this beautiful crystal child i am feeling that you are healed some of you aren't oh some of you were going to the disco when you were like teenagers and stuff and you were sneaking out is that right <laughs> or some of you were covering for your um for your i don't know brother sister and like yeah i got you i'm covering you you're always the responsible <laughs> responsible and mature one you was always responsible and mature. But there's something about, again, painting, drawing, just like artist child. But there was something really significant with being so quiet that you couldn't just express yourself how you wanted. And it's like, even now, your inner child pushes you to express yourself. It, does that make sense? okay so let's see what your inner child has to say now because i'm already picking up messages like hey i want to say this i want to say this so your inner child is saying thank you for getting us out of that afraid state thank you so much for getting us out of that fear 
of that muteness. Thank you for speaking up for us. Thank you for doing it, even though it was scary. Thank you so much for doing the scary things that I didn't know how to do and couldn't do. So you have such a soft heart here that it makes me kind of cry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start crying soon. So um, yeah, it's like the treatment, the bad treatment, the. I don't know, some of you m were malnutrition. I'm not sure what that's about. I'm really sorry if you didn't get um, enough food or things like that. But it feels like a lot of people went through that, you know, like not having enough food and just eating basic things. But those were like the bomb. Now you're like, this is not a poor thing, bro. This is a king living his life a queen living her life like you could have just been spaghetti with ketchup i know italians are gonna be like what the makifa you know <laughs> you know but you have this awareness right now that your inner child wants to thank you for because right then your child thought oh i'm poor because people are giving me food from somewhere or they're giving me things and you consider that as judgment that you were poor and you kind of were angry about it for some reason like you couldn't accept so you couldn't accept help you couldn't accept help you couldn't accept advice you couldn't accept things because you were so closed off so your inner child says thank you for opening up thank you for always seeing the beauty in people in nature in keeping it clean thank you so much something about ecology and keeping things clean maybe you've learned a lot of things uh you may, well i'll learn but you you learned how to help yourself, how to help the planet, how to help other people. You were, oh, okay, people pleaser. I'm sorry. Yeah, people pleaser is coming out. People pleaser, helper, over helper. Just someone that's so sweet. So, oh, I just want to grab your cheekies. <laughs> so sweet and so kind. And you still are. You still are the senior child. You right now embody this royal child this is what this image is giving me the vibe of, of a royal child wow you're so very much appreciated even your ancestors your spirit guides your just connection to god and source they're applauding you for everything you've done i mean i know you've chosen this mission but it's like you've done it so gracefully People thought you were a mean kid or people think you're mean because you have this, you know, not poker face, but like no expression face. And you know, I think some of you joke about it, say, well, he keeps the wrinkles away. So tough, <laughs> right? But yeah, you do have this youthful, youthful face. There's something about your uh, genes and DNA being kind of like, nah, I ain't, I ain't. Mm -mm, I'm, I'm not getting old you're not catching me getting old <laughs> right mm, what's about I'm in my ear I feel mm, well I see these earrings so um, spirit what is that about oh maybe right now you're allowed to do whatever you want because as a child like you had at least one strict parent that wouldn't let you do maybe get some piercings and maybe something like a tattoo maybe a butterfly tattoo Ooh, girl get it <laughs> oh someone just said they be my ass i'm so sorry i'm so sorry <laughs> Ooh, some of you had to like actually deal with physical trauma and there's ooh okay so your inner child is asking you to there is still some trauma stored in your body yes you've released everything and you've done everything like your work and stuff your shadow work whatever whatever you call it your um therapy 
your psychology <laughs> maybe you've done it but there's something stored in your body that you you don't know how to get it out and your inner child says ask for help with that or yeah maybe let your spirit guides guide you to to get that out you know reiki healer i heard you could do it yourself but you just need someone to help you out that's what i'm hearing there's some you released a lot of trauma but sometimes when something triggers you maybe you've healed a lot but there's still some triggers there when you when you're triggered it's like your hand is shaking or you're shaking of anxiety and you can't control your body maybe when you have to speak in front of people but that's like not a lot of people here okay okay let's get your cards now so we got magic trust innocence go with the flow so it feels like Well, your inner child is like okay with you being in connection with your magic, with you trusting, with you being in alignment with your innocence and going with the flow. It's like you're the person I've always wanted to be. Thank you for making that happen, right? There is an unfinished symphony. There's a dream that you've always had that hasn't quite happened but right now with the power that you've harnessed you'll be able to complete an unfinished symphony a song maybe maybe some sort of artistry poised oh girl the universe is helping you out <laughs> the universe is helping you out to make your dreams come true and you've always asked why you've always asked questions and people didn't like that you always ask questions you always ask good questions you make people question um their truth because there's a lot of people that don't accept um what is the actual truth and kind of disregard you know the universal truth i'm not sure if that makes any sense <laughs> but it's okay okay your inner child still wants you to ask questions still wants you to question things in people don't be afraid to be too much that's one thing don't be afraid to be too much and then imagine keep using your imagination and your intuition don't give a crap about what anyone wants from you or what they say what they think is fit for you their opinions don't matter let the piggies run okay <laughs> something like that here and now sometimes you have a hard time f focusing so they're asking you to meditate more to be more in that quiet zone and also to connect with nature to go out there right maybe go to the seaside there's something about you and the sea connecting with the sea with <clears throat> with nature Maybe going, they're asking you to go outside in the sunlight when, whenever you can. Okay, then round and round. You had some vicious cycles that you had to go through. And they're like, thank you so much for finally, f f yeah, finally finalizing <laughs> those patterns and just you were going round and round like a dog after its tail for some of you and you've released that like you've stopped these um what are they called vicious cycles i couldn't remember for the love of god oh you've been through a lot of deaths and rebirths uh, and now you're just taking it like uh, it's just a daily task <laughs> the lovers oh girl you manifested or oh boy manifested some love in again being through going through the trauma but coming out on top on getting exactly what you deserve the love you deserve the things you deserve and those 
who did things to you, <laughs> whew, the karma they've added to their lives, they're getting theirs this year. I promise you, they're getting their. I don't know when you're watching this, but they're getting theirs. They're getting, you're getting, oh, look, justice. You're getting justice and judgment for picking on God's favor. <laughs> but your inner child is like, yeah, that's right. I agree with God. <laughs> Eight of Wands and. Um, <laughs> Eight of Cups. So going on a journey, on a solo journey, going within to, you've had to go within to take care of yourself. So it's like, if you're going through that right now, your inner child says, it's okay, take your time and let yourself be alone for a while so that you don't get influenced by other people's ideas and things because you're meant to create something magical and beautiful. So your inner child is just pointing that out, right? Your inner child says, because of you, they're not afraid anymore. Again, yeah, you are you are your own role model. You're your own hero. You decided to be that. Okay. Actually, I just want to... The book for one card. So, yeah, with the poise card, um, being ready, bringing something to light, being at your best confidence. So, you're in your confident era. You're just ready to shine on your light and your inner child loves loves seeing that, loves seeing their dreams coming true, loves seeing their dreams being made into reality. Yeah, so you can be assured that you're ready for anything right now. You know what you need to, your skills are sharp, so you've come to this place armed with wisdom and knowledge. And you sense a new phase of your life about to begin. People respond to your confidence and trust you. This is an auspicious time to begin new things. So your inner child fully knows that <laughs> you're ready. That people trust you. You're about to start this new beginning. It knows. And that's why maybe you've been more giddy, more happy recently. Even if you are down... There's just this tenacity that came through the surface and was blessing you, like was blessing you with happiness, with, you know, just being in this energy of I'm, whoa, I'm in this higher, I don't know, dimension, <laughs> higher stuff. Yeah, and they're saying you have every reason to feel confident. It's everything is at your disposal to make your su success happen. You can take action knowing you're ready to step into your power. Like, oh, it's just telling you about the power. Mm, your inner child still has that shyness about them. I'm not sure. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, so. Oh, I'm going to need to get in there. So, Lemuria. Creating heaven on earth is happening. You're an earth angel. We, your your inner child always knew that, but it was blocked for some reason. And your guidance is divinely guided, Akasha. You've always had guidance. You're always favored from the above, from the like by the divine. The ever unfolding rose cracked up when it's happening for you, not you. So you had a really hard time to <laughs> find your truth in the sense that. You had to know it was happening for you and not to you, but you just, <laughs> what people have done to you have created a lot of hurt, pain, and trauma that you've had to clean up yourself. And not just that, but you had to clean up after other people as well. So that's like, your inner child doesn't like that, doesn't <laughs> like cleaning up after people. <laughs> There's something about that and it's like, meh, they should have done it themselves. So like that kind of sassy attitude, sassy child, <laughs> so cute. You had to mother yourself. Like I was saying before, at the beginning, you had to soothe yourself. How can you mother yourself? So right now, 
once again it's being brought to your attention that you should soothe yourself you how can you mother yourself how can you tap into your gifts to create magic to create that you have this nurturing mothering energy that everybody loves about you and this inner child of yours always had that mature energy within you like even your aura says that about you also your wise inner child says you're being cracked open once again so you're letting yourself be um cracked open i just drank some water that's why i'm like it's like a a ran 50 miles okay <sighs> okay what else play the mm, your inner child will like you to have more fun and play they want you to celebrate and don't be so serious because they they weren't they want you to be less serious like actually <laughs> childish they they really truly want you to tap into that childishness once again you, yeah girl you're too serious mm. or boy <clears throat> for some of you you're too serious and then priestess how are you being called to step up in need so you're meant to be this leader and i think as a child you dreamt cer being certain things and roles but maybe being a leader and you know being a boss wasn't actually your main concern but you were just born to do this and now your inner child is like hmm baby boss <laughs> right so you got lemuria and now pleiades double mission channeling and uplifting humanity so maybe you're a channeler maybe you're uplifting humanity maybe some of you are still working through your trauma and releasing that and connecting to light codes and light energy and i don't know it feels like pleiades is your home here then we got enlightenment perceived spiritual growth so actually you didn't know you were you were going to pursue spiritual growth you didn't know you were going to be this spiritual you just thought you were going to be like a sport person or an artist or a musician but you're still meant to be certain things but also <laughs> the spiritual leader or maybe just have your own spiritual growth be the leader in your own life you see i think your inner child is happy about that about you being your own leader and not following anyone's rules they like that the rebel likes that <laughs> then we got knowledge seek knowledge so you always been someone that maybe read books read hmm some of you didn't like reading as a child because it was forced upon you but then as you grew up you were like hmm this is interesting so when someone doesn't force you you like it but when someone forces something on you you're like nah. maybe some of you had trouble at school learning and you were just good on one side of things and then the other they were like uh, mm, teachers or stuff like that <sighs> yeah their stuff <laughs> teachers or stuff <laughs> people were just like oh you're not very good at that you're mediocre blah 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 but in the other ones you were thriving you're like nah sir you're mediocre you're just jealous <laughs> maybe some of you would kind of burst out and speak the truth when you have had enough but there's this thing about bottling things up and then exploding <clears throat> right now what i'm seeing is that yes you've um Hmm. I'm not sure what I, what I was saying. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Maybe integrating. You integrated certain things. Don't know if it makes sense. I don't know what I was talking about. Damn. Hmm. Okay, let's just move on. Um, seven heavenly virtues, keys to goodness. Ooh, you were always a kid that did right by the world and by you, but people didn't like that, so you might have been cold. 
like a goody two shoes or um you know people thought you were above them or anything like that but you're just meant to shine you know <clears throat> epiphany where you're remembering the, your origins for some reason so see clarity you have clarity hmm right what is about that and then competition you always like you always felt the need to be in competition and you didn't know that you're in your own league so once you realized that you were in your own league you stopped competing because you're not really competing you're in your own world you're like <laughs> out of this world <laughs> right okay what does their inner child want to see with all these cards oh was it about reading and stuff that i was talking about i think yeah so some of you didn't like reading when it was forced on you was it and then you started to adapt knowledge uh into your routine once you were free from these know-it-alls that these jealous people i don't know if that was if that's what i wanted to say okay dragonfly so live life to the fullest maybe you've always connected to butterflies and dragonflies and yeah there's something about that you've always been like a nature nymph yeah so nature nymph did i talk about the justice card and eight of wands and judgment I don't think I did, did I? I didn't talk about the eight of wands, damn it. <laughs> Why do we <laughs> miss things? Okay, so the eight of wands is speed, momentum, travel, excitement, results. Ooh, girl, boy. Your inner child is confirming the speed and momentum that you've added to your manifestations. So that is, that is, is interesting okay but you've always had this sense of justice and you, you don't like injustice you've always fought for injustice like against injustice oh, you know what i mean right you've always been someone that stood up for others so your inner child loves when you're still in connection with that like loves you still stand up for people right yeah, you've you've finally living life to the fullest. But for some of you, your inner child is saying, live life to the fullest, have more fun, play more. Get in there and enjoy life. Because you're meant to, like, come on. You're meant to actually celebrate. Wow. Interesting. Your wisdom was beyond your years. Just like a null soul. Oracle soul, I don't know what that means. Anyway... <laughs> If you enjoyed this type of reading, let me know in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you feel called to. If you'd like a private reading, down below. Um, all, like in the description, everything, all the information is in the description. Please check that out. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. Group number three, you chose this image. So from this image i'm feeling so i'll describe i'll channel from the image describe you and then see if if it resonates with you then this is your group i'm feeling as a child sometimes you felt alone and like a loner some of you were the the oldest sibling and so you always felt like you had more responsibility on your shoulders either that or even if you were the younger one or middle one, you always felt like everything was put on your shoulders and you had to kind of, I don't know, bear the world on your shoulders. <laughs> but it's something like having a favorite toy or uh, playing with dolls or cubes or something like that, dollies. But at the same time, just sitting there wondering about things. Maybe you were always wondering when this is going to end.
something that was happening in your family life, in your family, something around you. Maybe you were scared, maybe there's some trauma coming up here that you still need to heal. Parental trauma passed down to you, right? I think I'll talk about that later if I remember. It's just like you holding yourself, holding on to yourself and having to dream, having to turn somewhere else to cope, like a cope mechanism that still comes up. So I guess, oh, because your inner child already wants to say things. So um, those coping mechanisms that you have, you need to let go of. I know you had your favorite toy and I know your childhood was taken too early from you. You had to grow up faster than most. You had responsibilities that were put on your shoulders. You had to suffer to go through trauma. And I know that your trauma is still within your body and you're now releasing it. You're now doing everything you can to heal us both. So he this pile, this group is about you healing and releasing and letting go. So right now you're taking, if you're not ready, you're taking the time to take care of your soul, of your heart, of your mind. There's so much pressure. There's so much noise outside of you. That's what I'm feeling. And you just feel alone. There's always something about romance or love or soulmate that is coming through. That you're just like, I just want to break. I just want to break from all this. Is is like allowing yourself to make things easier for you so oh, wow they're asking me to put this thing out interesting wow okay they're already asking me to talk about the cards so releasing soul patterns contracts and past life Ooh, for you either you've had to <laughs> release a lot to and a lot of contracts, soul contracts. But there's a lot of traumatic past life experiences. And so past life regression might help you heal that. And remember, for example, just said the intention. I would like to remember my past life to see what I have to heal. And if you need help, then please go to your favorite readers and ask them to help like help you maybe book a reading with them or if you'd like a, a reading with me the information is down below i have like three options for things and you just choose what you feel <laughs> you would like right now okay so unbound you have to detach yourself from something you know and because there's just so much crying and pain obviously crying helps because it releases um the pain it cleanses you maybe there's a need for a bath here right but it's like your inner child is already taking me it's like i don't want to talk about my past i just want this healed oh wow good good for your inner child it's like i'm taking control i'm the boss but it's like a lot of times you're not listening to your inner child and what you need to Mm, do for yourself like take time for yourself just go outside enjoy nature or enjoy just i don't know <sighs> meditating contemplating just for yourself it's like you have responsibility maybe you have a have uh, <laughs> you have a family sorry i don't know why that is like blah, blah, blah. Maybe buy yourself some flowers. I can buy myself flowers. I can ride in the sand. I can run for hours. Maybe listen to some music that makes you feel good, right? If you don't want to listen to music to you, I'll, I'll serenade you. But, you know, just listen to music. <laughs> to some music that you like. I'm hearing some country music. Hold on. Well, I don't know. Maybe you like that. Maybe that helps you calm down. It's like you need to separate yourself from your past and trauma and be like, hey, I'm the observer here. Why would I need to connect with this over and over again? So there's like a vicious cycle repeating itself and you're just right now facing this test 
which like am i learning it i would like to be aware of it so your your inner child was saying oh, i would like you to be aware of all these things so that we can cross over to the good part okay to the to the side that's going to help us truly embody who we're meant to be say yes to life say yes to gifts say yes to receiving money to things you don't have to be locked up inside like girl boy come on come on get yourself out there you deserve love you deserve new things if you married obviously you work it out with your husband or wife but if it eventually doesn't work out it should be your decision and then go into dating and romance but i feel like you should take time out for yourself first and then it's gonna get really good you got keepers of the earth you are not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you so you've taken a path of the ancestors and now you're meant to break the patterns of the ancestors yeah the curse breaker i hear some of you are still doing that right let me get these right oh girl don't play that in my head like spirit was playing some morning let the way right now morning and i don't know girl spice up things in your whole life don't don't come at me <laughs> spirit you sneaky little rumbar <laughs> Maybe that will make you happier to spice up things. I don't know. You got leadership. Set your goals. Cheer up. Live in the moment. And then. Uh, is that like. And then vacation. Take time for <laughs> relaxation and adventure. Girl, you need some adventure time. You need some adventure time. Maybe you're having a hard time at work or having a time, hard time with your business, with sharing it, with getting out there. If you meditated and actually went within you, within yourself, within your heart, and tapped into that heart chakra. Yeah, there's a need of, uh, for alignment within your chakras. <laughs> there's some purging needs, purging need needed to be done. You may be a Leo for some reason. Or you may have Leo somewhere in your chart. But a fire sign. All the less. Nevertheless. Well, there's something with the sunflowers again. With the sun shining again. It's following a path where everything is being cleared out. And it's like you're being guided. Even though you're afraid. You're finding the courage within you to say yes. To do things that scare you. Like there's something. A need to get things done well don't hurry take your time but there's a need to cheer up like a need a need to be your own hero for you to get yourself out, out of those muddy waters hmm. but like i was saying before yes you do need to take time out because um, it ain't working anymore you need to find your, you need to actually do an inner child meditation and ask your inner child, your inner child will show you what you need to heal. So you need to do that for yourself. I, I would say do it. Then you got hope. Gratitude. So you need to tap into that gratitude, into those dreams that make you happy that make you want to keep going the miracles so your inner child wants to tell you that miracles are possible that love is in your life that love is possible that a true love is possible for you they want you to know that you're allowed to dream that you're allowed to hope so there is hope on the horizon but it's asking you to tap more and more into that gratitude to help you dream more that gratitude is a tool for your manifestations to come up so start showing up 
to believe in miracles? Like, what do you need to give permission to so that you can go forward? Like, do you need to give permission to yourself or something? I don't know, whatever hmm, rituals or meditations help you to do that, do them. This is more like it's asking you to take action on this side of things so that you can tap into the spiritual. Because some of you have the gifts, but you're just being blocked from them. For some reason, you're keeping yourself away from your from materializing your dreams. Uh, right. If you want to use the law of attraction, gratitude is one way. And getting yourself to the point where you simply allow things to unfold. But right now what you need is a vacation to cheer up and to hope a little. To let go of all these things that were... Ho I, I feel like some of you have karma. Yeah, some of you have karma to release. For the others of you, you might know what you need to do. But some of you have karma to release that has built up and, you know. I know some people here have done things that aren't proud of. But your inner child is telling you to let that go. Forgive yourself. I don't know, maybe ask in prayer forgiveness from those people. Okay. So that you can move on. So that you can heal. Mm. Okay. Not for you. So someone is not for you. Or something is not for you. And you need help to recognize that. Ask for help. Get help with that. If you'd like a private reading. I can do that. Or if you just trust another reader. You can go to them and book a reading with them. Be like, hey, dude, I need help with this and this, you know. By the way, for mine, the link is in the description. Okay, so not for you. Um, Maybe you're not for everyone. Maybe people have different tastes and things. And you have to realize that. That it doesn't matter what they think. You actually have to like yourself. Yeah, you have to live with yourself. You have to like yourself. You have to be nice to yourself. Can you do that for me? I mean, can you do that for yourself? No, you don't have to do it for me. <laughs> I was just like being a teacher. <laughs> being like a... See how can you do that for me? Thank you. <laughs> right? Maybe, you know, yeah. With these, um, what are they called? Uh, I was about to say crackers. They're not crackers. Um, oh, Lord, tell me what it's called. Because I can... Ooh, that song from Tarzan. Hold on, da 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 da. Two worlds, one family. Cross your heart. Let fate decide. Oh yeah, that song from Tarzan from the Disney movie. Ooh, maybe you need to watch Tarzan. Maybe watch Disney movies so you can get some hope, some hope in your system. <laughs> Once again, dude, you're really sad. I'm sorry. You're really, you're really sad. Why are you so sad? Oh, you know that thing from SNL, was it? That's sad. <laughs> With Selena Gomez and I can't remember what it was. That's sad. <laughs> yeah. Maybe find some a comedy or a comedy show. Get yourself laughing. What you're doing right now, what your inner child is asking you to do once and wants to say is to build a foundation that lasts because uh, maybe there was like a tower moment and you had to fall and everything failed and you were like but i've built this i've worked my ass off to do this girl you need a foundation that actually sits well with you not something that's shaky and was built on on trust and i don't know blah, blah, blah. things that weren't serving you be okay with building again but building something strong and be like all right, you bricks, you son of a bricks, we're ready to start building again. <laughs> Maybe you need some encouragement. Soulmates, ooh, there is someone out there for you. I don't know what you're thinking about. 
<sighs> but it's like, does someone have the key to my heart? Sweetheart, live yourself first and become the person that you truly want to be. And then the one with the key will come and be like, can I open your heart? <laughs> uh, it reminds me of that scene in Little Nikki where it's like, I will eat your heart. <laughs> chop wood you need to clear and cleanse things in your home and like throw some things out it doesn't emotional value is what you put into a thing but if the thing was from someone that was abusive and toxic and stuff like that you need to throw this shit out girl or boy okay uh mystery yes what was this so in their child of group three what do they need to know with the mystery card? I'm seeing uh, one of those old type of phones where you kind of like, um, you know, like you 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 um, put your finger in one of those things and then it's like a like a wheel and and then you know what I mean? One of those old type of phones where it's like you need to build connection, not just with yourself. With those around you, maybe you need new friends. For sure, you need new friends. Because <sighs> the ones you have, even though they, they they try to be nice to you and be like nice, they still use you for their purpose. So it's, it's not unconditional love. It's conditional love, sweetheart. And maybe you've re realized that right now. Maybe there's something you realize. Um... <clears throat> that just came to the surface. Alright. So we got six of coins. Where is it? Nah, 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 nah. Someone was doing in my mind like, nah, 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 nah. I'm going to do it. Or something like that. I'm going to go out and do it. I'm going to do it. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> like... Yeah, I don't know why I, I saw a clown too. What's that six and coins? Oh, so generosity, charity, kindness, value, reward. So it represents kindness and generosity to those less fortunate. The old woman from this Inuit tale understands the need to put positive into it. Into, uh, 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 into the world in order to receive it back. The pay for mythology of karma. Okay, so maybe when you do payments and if you're into law of attraction, just try and get yourself to that state of, again, gratitude, but also, hey, I'm spending this money. If I could just realize that all the money that I'm spending comes back to me multiplied, somehow to get yourself to believe that, because it does. Maybe just ask universe, hey, universe, please show me that all the money that I spend comes back to me multiplied and and that it is possible for me to have a flow of money and that it is possible for me to have this flow in my life of receiving the things that I want and you could uh, go back take a pen and pencil or like a pen and pencil girl a pe <laughs> pen and paper and write down what I just said okay there is oh okay so there is a reward coming towards you and then there is someone in your horizon, your vicinity, that's going to come support you and be like, you could do it. You can do it, Nikki. Come on. You can do it. I don't know if your name's Nikki, but you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Wait, 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 wait. You can do it. You can do it. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe just sing things that you want and be like, I'm a rich witch. I'm a rich witch. I am so rich. I can buy anything. <laughs> I don't know. Just like you burst out into song, make your half school musical. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got Temperance. You got King of Swords. And then you got um, the Eight of Swords. Ooh, that, I feel like that card was always about fear. Kind of reminds me about fear and trauma. With the swords head oh here nee, 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 nee. so anxiety victimhood feeling trapped paralysis crisis get yourself some help if you actually have some sort of paralysis 
like nightmares and stuff you need to you need to actually connect with your inner child about your anxiety and why this victimhood happens it's okay if it happens but just you have to tune in within yourself to not feel trapped anymore you see and then with the king of swords it represents wisdom enhanced by power this griffin is a noble and intelligent creature soaring over land and sea a symbol of for patience perseverance and judgment so it's authority structure logic self-discipline loyalty so yeah it's uh, your inner child is asking you for self-discipline because it still feels like this inner child is running away and it doesn't really have any knowledge of discipline or self-discipline not in a bad way don't take it the wrong way but in like this inner child doesn't know what to do it's it's just a child you're the adult it's like being lost but you need to get into connection once again i'm repeating myself get into connection with who you are to find out who you are mm. all right and then temperance there's something about balance being able to see yourself that you're able to have this balance so with the hope it's like your hope has been mm, restored or something like that but is it girl that's the fool the temperance where's the temperance <laughs> so yeah usually just in this deck it represents balance for some um so it's okay yeah about balance and meditation it is being mutable recognizing when to change with the times and when to change the situation itself right okay so m moderation harmony purpose good influence reconciliation i think you need to make peace with yourself to meet your inner child and be like let's reconcile let's let's start over we don't have the best relationship, but we can. <sighs> and something in moderation. You need things to do. You, hmm, you need to do things in moderation so that you can pace yourself, so that you can build that self-discipline. Okay? I mean, you're doing really well. Many of you are just, you know, going through it. And that's the reality of it. You're just having to accept yourself right to find your purpose hmm, interesting wow that was an interesting pile um i hope they really served you so um please like comment subscribe that helps my channel all the information is in the link and the links down below like in the description anything you need to know is there okay i really hope you feel better please let me know in the comments i hope you feel better and you're well and you're gonna you know have some fun i don't know have some hope all right i am going now i'll see you next time bye group four welcome to your reading you chose this image. Look at her, she's so cute. <sighs> I don't know why, but I'm hearing a kid that needs something special, like special needs. Ooh, maybe somebody with traits or actual autism, maybe ADHD not being able to focus, um, dyslexia, um, not being very good at school. So I'm describing you right now. And if this resonates, if this resonates with you, then this is your pile. Seeing things through a different spectrum like through your eyes there's a different different spectrum some of you are able to see aura so you you've always seen colors around people and like wait people don't don't do this or maybe there is something awakening within you 
that you'll be like more gifts more abilities it's like opening your eyes to something also you feel suffocated by a parent right now and you feel the need to move it's like you need to have your own place your own space your own oh you just need to have peace in your head and what the it's like i'm hearing blah 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 in one ear and i'm like in the other you're like dreaming you're like daydreaming <laughs> I need to get away from this. Like I need to step off and go my own way. Like build my own life. So it, something like smothering. It's smothering you. Okay. Group four. Whew. It's like I can finally chill for some reason. So you may there's an opportunity for you right now that your inner child is letting you know that you're finally free you're finally able to move on from things you're finally able to just be you and not be so judged for it like it used to be i don't know 30 years ago 25 years ago 20 27 years ago you may be in your 20s or 30s some of you 40s <clears throat> yeah some above that as well like 50s 60s who knows i'm not i'm not sure who's watching me anymore <laughs> because i used to have quite a few types of people uh, comment and show up and be like oh like well, you know actually interact it was interesting to see so many people okay royalty i see like an emblem uh, what are those things called made from gold and like a house emblem a house uh, uh what is it called man you know how these rich families rich people have um uh, why is this so hard to explain uh, their own brand like for example a golden ring with their uh, family initial right does that make sense i'm sure you got it your inner child ooh, your inner child is so special because you had abilities since you were a kid like seeing ghosts like actual souls like seeing glitches in reality and you don't even you didn't even know what those were but you just thought you saw a soul like you, maybe a dog died and you were like oh kiki <laughs> kiki you're you're there and then you disappear and you're like i need jesus <laughs> or like you were made to feel bad about your gifts and abilities right and they're like oh devil blah 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 mm, she's a devil <laughs> right <clears throat> but actually there's a sort of elegance to you right now and a grace some of you have become mm, hardened so like your your heart is was closed off for some reason it's still closed off for some of you because you're like trying to protect yourself from something from someone and you can't fully open up to love so one thing is being open able to open up to love with you uh tea is calming to you meditation you do that all the time i feel so meditation tea is calming to you being with yourself with your thoughts being nature surrounded by nature like no one's there and just oh there's something about roses there's something about pink roses or any type of colored roses but you just love being in gardens and nature and you love visiting places and travel and air everything like that <laughs> right listen you're a rich kid you're i don't know what's happening but right now you're gonna be the universe's spoiled kid you're gonna be that rich kid that rich person okay yeah, because 
with that family crest. Oh, God, that's the freaking word. Crest, family crest. You are building a legacy in your inner child is only for a leg. Spoil me, mama. <laughs> right? Spoil me. Like, you're ready to be rich, rich. Like, you already, I don't know. It's like, it's already done for some reason. Does that resonate with you? <laughs> Interesting. Anything else, Barry? So that they know that this is the group for them. For some reason, you love seeing petals flow in the air. You love seeing blooming trees, something without cherry blossoms, Japan, Korea, Asia in general, you, um, Thailand. You just love experiencing new foods, new cultures. You love traveling and you'll soon have that opportunity so I'm just like here to let you know that your inner child is going to be so happy. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to be dressed really well. There's something with being dressed really well and good quality clothes because she has this blue dress that looks absolutely royal. So thank you program that helped me make these images. Thank you so much. <laughs> right. I don't know if as a child, you had those sprays where you made your hair pink a little bit. Ooh, Avril Lavigne just came in. Is Avril Lavigne someone you were looking up to? Like, hey, hey, you, you. I don't want to wear it. Right? Did you make your hair pink at some point? Or do you have pink hair? Or maybe you want to color your hair? And be like, look at me. Look at my hair. But you have nice hair. Some of you have cut your hair short or you like uh, styling your own hair, cutting your own hair. There's something about that. You've always done that. Like as a kid, you might have um, cut people's hair or your own hair. Like you're just good at random things. Not, not random, but like, I don't know, suing, um, chopping someone's hair. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I hear cooking too. Someone here is like, I can't bake for the love of God. Okay, but many of you can, like, cook. You're like personal chefs or something. I don't know what that's about. Interesting, but listen. You about to be a rich spoiled kid. <laughs> okay. They're like, your inner child is really happy because they know what's coming and they're ready for this. So let's see what's up what's up what's up what's up what's up what's up um what was that saying we 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 the leaders we're nothing up but not two leaders i don't know it was like we the leaders with um clg dragon and i don't know who else but maybe you're meant to be a leader and you're spoiled and a child knows it like i'm not calling you spoiled in a bad in a bad light like in a bad I'm calling you that because you're about to be spoiled. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> and our grandmother of Jesus seeding the light laying foundations divine plan. I am hearing that you came from a family with gifts. So whether it's like a family crest like actually reach people or... I don't know, talented people, artists, or actual, um, I don't know, psychics. Maybe someone comes from the line of... Wait, he didn't have kids, did he? Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci. Um, I don't know if he had kids, did he? But maybe that type of line where it's like super psychic. Like, hello. Maybe it skipped. It skipped... Uh, a generation but it came to you like all that power is to you so whatever it is maybe business skills maybe psychic skills maybe art painter photographer something like that it's like ready for you your playground is ready for you for some reason right okay let's see what your inner child has to say to you the truth for one okay okay Ooh, hold on girl i'm just like laying your cars out okay one thing that your inner child wants you to know is 
yes, you've done all the hard work, but there's just one thing that you're needing to do right now is accept accept yourself fully so i know to some degree you've accepted yourself but there's a need of accepting your entire self to accept that your work is good to accept that you can um i don't know have success and progress and growth and for someone here fame whoever wants that you can have that and to accept that you also need rest and not to keep pushing and pushing and burning out <clears throat> and to accept that there are friends out there for you soul family just a, like a soul tribe you know soul friends that know you on a deeper level and they are willing to accept you for who you are because they're not trying to change you because they know that you can do that yourself right just a friend that really appreciates you and that wouldn't so it is possible right your inner child wants you to know that this friendship that you truly want it is possible don't think about the past and all these people that have left you because they weren't meant to be in your life so your inner child is saying let them go because they're not they're they were only in your life because you awakened something in them and i know you feel like you were used and you don't really understand why these people did this like why did they have to hurt you like that knowing fully well that you're sensitive and you haven't really actually done anything wrong but they just uh, still chose to do that that speaks their character their character speaks volumes just by doing that but that has nothing to do with you that's their growth and that's their life and if you could just make peace with that you would just welcoming so many friends that are really meant for you okay and be gentle with yourself please your inner child wants more gentleness from you and towards yourself like you won't handle a child the way you handle yourself right now right like there's something about pushing yourself to the limit and then being like oh, okay now i need to rest but you need to have a like a balance like a balance is being brought over and you have the lighthouse right here so yes you are the light and you're able to see from if you get to this height you'll be able to see on a level plane right you'll be able to have <clears throat> a better view of your life and of yourself some of you are still shy and some of you are way too humble and i know in some of my videos i i say like i humble some people down but that's because the, they ass need to sit down and be humble <laughs> for you i'm i'm telling you you need to get out there and be like here i am rock you like a hurricane okay ac what was it yeah acdc right yeah yeah um uh, maybe you like um those type of rock bands like old old style like you know you're a nine you could be 80s 90s baby hmm right and you're being asked to delve into music once again to cr i don't know if create but maybe just like you i'm feeling many of you listen to music to just calm yourself and to soothe yourself and one thing from your inner child is that you've always used music to basically survive and be able to navigate through your life and through situations music has always helped you to feel better and maybe you just need like a little bit of rock and roll to get you going and so like to get you pumped up to be like hey you know <laughs> you know what i mean but listen you're just seeing blessing after blessing your inner child is so excited because it can see the star that she he has grown into Ooh, the star that you're meant to be your inner child 
is thankful that you're able to speak the truth and then you that you've reached such a level where you're be you're able to be a leader and you're able to show your fierce side your if you're a woman to show more of your feminine side your powerful side someone i heard lilith side <laughs> maybe somebody that is finally able to be their own boss, own businesswoman, and to be like, hey, this doesn't serve me, I'm gonna say no to this. It's like you have a lot of offers that you say no to, so your inner child wants you to be okay with saying no to all of them, to saying no to family, to saying, because as much as you've grown, there were um, bits and pieces here and there where it was like, uh, I felt guilty that I said no, like who's gonna help them now? And, and you know that you're aware of that. But one thing that comes up is that you're now fully into speaking your truth. So it's still a, like your inner child is still asking you to do that. To say no when you don't when you want to say no and don't say yes just because you think you have to. Definitely people pleaser as a child. Like, you've grown into an environment where you had to adapt to protect yourself. And at some point, you didn't know how to mother yourself, but you still had to do it. So, with the Anna Grandmother of Jesus, Seeding the Light, Laying Foundations, Divine Plan. So, you, you're very much in tune with your divine plan. But your inner child is like a divine blessed child a child that knows everything a child that literally your inner child is your higher self it's like a like guiding you you know what i mean your heart is guiding you then you got priestess how are you being called to step up and lead yes again there is this notion of accepting that your work is good and it's worth it and it doesn't matter if people say they can't afford it or not. If they really want it, you know you can attract people that have that type of money, that are rich. That you know that at some point people will have the money to come and buy your product or something like that, right? Your business or whoever wants to to get something from you, to buy from you, to support you, they'll do it, right? so your inner child just wants you to let th so it wants you to know to allow yourself to accept that fact the fact that you're allowed to receive and not be judged for it okay then we got pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle listen this pile has a really high vibration and you know my channel you know i always talk about energy and all that stuff I'm not even sure how to describe you, but your high vibration is literally changing the energy in rooms. And I feel like your inner child always dreamed of being that confident lady or man who is full of light and changes the, the atmosphere in the room. And whenever they come in, people talk about them. And when they leave, they still talk about them and say good things, you know, like, oh, look at group number four. They're so talented. Look at them. They're such a boss. You know, just like compliments and everything. I feel like you haven't, re you haven't received a lot of compliments. People just only say it in their head. But there's this need. Your inner child needs to hear someone actually compliment them. And whenever someone does that, your inner child is so happy. It's like, maybe compliment yourself, girl. Look in the mirror, or boy, look in the mirror and say, I'm so sexy. I'm so hot. I don't know. I'm so good at what I'm doing. Give yourself some compliments or attract people that give you compliments. Because everybody des deserves to be complimented. Would you like me to compliment you? Girl, boy, you so good. You so I don't you're so magical and full of light. <laughs> you deserve everything you want. Your work is amazing. Do it. You're gonna get that dough, you're gonna get that business, you're gonna be your own boss. <laughs> right? 
But you are one of those pillow light, uh, pillars of light. Get grounded. Empath, highly sensitive. Connect with nature. So as a kid, you were empaths and really sensitive. And one thing that built you up as an empath was the trauma and everything. Which you released and let go of. But there's this still, there's this, um need of like my parents didn't quite meet my needs and some of you are still working through that some of you have have worked through that but what i'm getting is that you're learning to be okay with your parents not meeting your needs because it's like wait hold on a sec i could do it myself and if i really need someone then i could just attract someone like that but in the end i'm the one that has to make the change right what you would need also relaxation to go connect with nature and ground or maybe you're already doing that but your inner child is always wanting to connect with nature and there's just a significance on roses. Again, with the roses. What's with the pink roses and stuff? Like your ancestors are guiding you and they love you. Like So, um, okay, one thing here is that your ancestors or your family, right? Or your family, your sister, I don't know, whoever looks at you like you're their child and they want to spoil you and take care of you because you're that light in their life right and they really love having such a powerful light in their life they they just love when you lead by example because they get to learn from you so it's like you're a blessing you're the sun that shines in their life and for a message from your ancestors and spirit guides, it's like you lead with such nuance. What does that even mean? <laughs> you lead with such color, with such integrity and wisdom and compassion and kindness. We love you so much for that, for coming here and spreading beauty and knowledge and wanting to do the work that we can do. It's like, I know our asses were lazy, but thank you for doing it. <laughs> That's funny. That's hella funny, girl. That's hella funny. Boy. Right, and innocence. Oh, don't be afraid to be your innocent self. Okay, someone here is afraid of being taken advantage of. And that inner child thing is like, don't take advantage of me. Don't take advantage of my kindness because I'm going to turn into into a siren and like actually eat you alive <laughs> right but there is uh, that need of protection from your inner child still in some areas i don't know what it is um then you got go with the flow opportunity knocks go for it so there is an opportunity for you right now to move away so you receive some sort of huge sum of money like your inner child is ecstatic because it knows it knows what's coming she knows he knows what's coming right 444 confirmation from your spirit guys hmm. let things happen so right now you're um in this area of your life where you're like I'm going to let things happen. I'm not going to stop the momentum and speed just because I can see where I'm going. This invisible force, God, whatever you believe in, is leading me to it. Right? That's that's the message here. <clears throat> so you're going to go for an opportunity that really calls to you. Something about creation. Something about collaboration. Maybe if you're in the spiritual um, business, you're going to do that. But also with art painting something like that but just apply it to whatever you're doing and do that right A an opportunity that really calls to you yeah it feels like you're gonna go for it like you're finally accepting that you can go for it and you're taking action on going for it interesting <clears throat> resilience you've always been resilient it's like sometimes you were running away from things but then you were like wait hold on you stopped 
you thought it over and you're like no i'm not gonna run away from this so um it's like even as a child you had this tenacity this thing that kept you going i could say stubbornness maybe people consider you stubborn but it it didn't have a bad connotation it just like you have morals and you knew what was right for you but like people like oh just let it down more softly because they're your family or whatever or blah 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 and yada 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 (laughs) Ooh, you had to deal with a lot of devils so sometimes your body is still in shock for some sort from some sort of trauma I, I'm hearing you can get help with that. And then you got the Wheel of Fortune. Things are turning around for you. So after going through all this hardship and escaping this house of like Baba Yaga. What was her name? From these witches. From the clutches of the evil witches. You. It is time for your Dharma. For the Wheel of Fortune. Right? Okay. So even as a child you were. T- you. Hmm. Okay, calm down. Like, your inner child is so excited to speak, to share right now. You went through so many tower moments. You fell so many times. Like, as a child, nobody hmm, had the balls to protect you. Is is, is that it? (laughs) Like, everybody wants to keep you for themselves, to drain on your energy, to not let you go, to not let you fly. there is still this thing with the parent where the, they're not letting you fly, not letting you go because they know once you leave, they're going to have to face their own life. In reality, they're going to have to face the reality of what they created to face their own hardships and not just run away and be like, oh, group number four is going to be there and do for me. No, you got to do it yourself. You immature <laughs> adults like like unhealed children yeah once you leave they'll be doing this because they, they can't ignore it anymore so once you leave or for someone here you'll be able to do that and for me for some of you, you already done that and you've seen how your presence makes such an impact in everyone's lives for once you'll find the right romantic partner for you you find you'll find the right love the romance that you've dreamed of when you were young like you used to dream being a princess or i don't know just having the perfect husband guess what you'll find him or her you find him or her mm. and then the knight of cups a higher point of view was that it let me just check that out what was your Knight of Cups? <laughs> Here. So it's chivalry, affection, invitations, taking action, meaningful gifts. So you might be receiving a lot of meaningful gifts that as a child you wanted to receive. Maybe, oh, your inner child is saying you will be receiving your gifts, wishes, dreams. They'll come true. <laughs> those that you had since you were a kid so like really old ones they'll just start showing up and be and be like oh i i forgot about this wait did i really want this and then you just suddenly receive it and be like your inner child will awaken and be like whoa like such such happiness coming towards you i cannot even describe it any better than that and then I'm hearing a lot of invitations and shiv- chivalrous, <laughs> I don't know, men towards you or women towards you. Be like holding the door or, I don't know, buying you dinner and not asking for anything in return because you know you deserve it. Like people want to give to you because you they see how good you are to them and how humble. Right? in tune in alignment it's just like this youthfulness to you okay let's see we got the last card so leg up 
so um yeah you're receiving uh, help from the universe so they're working on it you're just needing to let them work on it <sighs> the universe is macho good daddy say that <laughs> then exchanging gifts exactly there's an exchange of gifts with someone like uh, someone will come into your life who you will exchange gifts with all the time like you maybe you give the best gifts who knows um yeah so rise above tribulations yeah, you always have to rise above but i'm hearing right now you're in this space where um, you tell people off right and you're not afraid to do it so your inner child thanks you for that then we got new life you're gonna start a new life literally like right now if i could say right now then pfft, and it appears a new life just like waking up in your own house apartment and just like huh, peace and quiet and i don't know just like money appears i don't know where in your bank account and be like i'm rich <laughs> okay mm, someone is dealing dealing with fears here but or maybe negativity but because you would need to take out some time for yourself so regeneration right now you're in a regenerative state where you're healing and letting go of things and like <laughs> that i did that with my mouth like <laughs> i'm sorry i'm a fart person uh no like uh, i love jokes like that <laughs> sorry i'm not a fart person <laughs> okay so yeah there's ooh so there was a lot of damage being done to you as a kid and then listen you still grew like this this tree with the flower and the and the leaves you still grew you grew into who you are today and right now there's just like this need for rest and acceptance and like <sighs> i don't know why I, i'm seeing barbie and like i'm a barbie girl in the barbie world imagination turn on that creation come on barbie let's go party maybe you're gonna go to parties and just have fun but also like create a lot and be like literally this it by barbie girl or barbie ken <laughs> right but you're like the sweetest kid ever you're so sweet i'm just i keep seeing candy maybe you got a sweet tooth who knows you just like so sweet you're not of this world yeah that's uh, what i always told me i must be alien because i don't fit on this planet <laughs> and now we got confirmation many of us aren't <laughs> well we are humans but yeah anyway i think i'll just end it here because <laughs> yeah oh <sighs> that was a long reading thank you so much for being here oh they're saying one more card i don't know the moon is usually the illusion but at the same time it's like just enjoying this sight and cutting through illusions like you you'll be cutting through the world's illusions with being that leader up there yeah an important role that you'll have mm-hmm all right thank you so much please let me know in the comments below if you liked it if you enjoyed it what resonated um like comment share subscribe it helps my channel uh if you'd like a private reading the information is in the description below everything else is also there ah, thank you so much i'll see you next time bye